How are you doing? This is Yaakov with a beautiful idea. In the mirror of this beautiful idea, this whole this whole lesson today is uh, the Hilula of Rabbi Natan of Breslov, who's Rabbi Natan ben Rav Naftali Hertz Sternharts, and uh, such a f- amazing, amazing not only tzaddik and chassid and uh, uh, but most importantly, he's he's uh, the epitome of what a perfect student is. Of someone who's able to take their mind, take their who they are, and put it aside, nullify themselves to their master, and make themselves a vessel, a vessel to be able to contain <clears throat> all the wisdom of their teacher, to be able to walk on their own personal path, to find Hashem and help everybody else on the journey. Um, it's very, very uh, big, big night for me and for many, many people, um, and and all the people also that don't even know. Uh, because Rabbi, Rabbi Natan of Breslov, it's because of Rabbi Natan, Rabbi, Rabbi Nassan, Zatzal, may his memory always be, may his memory always uh, cause his name to be uh, soaring, his neshama, his soul to be soaring higher and higher and higher, infinitely, infinitely, more and more and more, and cause everybody to uh, illuminate all the dark places in their life. And may we see all the darkness of Galus of exile and be illuminated and be able to show that Hashem is with us He's been with us the whole time and uh, that's to be the greatest thing Rabbi Natan was, uh, was quoted uh, in so many in, as saying so many most um, the most amazing some of the most amazing pieces of information um, if his, uh, his work the Kutel Lachot I, I, I think it has 8,000 pages his personal work in Lukutei Tefilot has hundreds and hundreds more pages and so many and all of Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Nachman even said without him you don't have me that was one of the things that Rabbi Nachman said and he he bound his his existence Rabbi Nachman bound his existence with Rabbi Natan and uh, actually when he first met Rabbi Natan um, he told Rabbi Natan that like even though this is a new acquaint- acquaintance, like so to speak, that you we just met, but he actually we've actually known each other for for we're very familiar to each other. It's not uh it's not it's not new. This is not really new. So we have to understand that also generally when you meet people in the world, so it looks new sometimes, but really you've you've known them longer even than you know your best friends uh, that you grew up with, uh, that look like you grew up with, and sometimes you know a person you feel like you you met them. You know them your whole life, even though you just met them. So uh, always ready to be able to make those friends, those people listen, listen to 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 the new uh, what do you call it, the new experiences, the new things that we're having. Because not everything is always new. Sometimes things that we're experiencing that are quote unquote new, things that you haven't experienced yet, now might be even more familiar to the things. That you've even been experiencing your whole life, so, and also you could take the things, same things you've been experiencing your whole life, and show you how you know how beautiful they are. The fact that they're new. <laughs> also, Hashem, Rabbi Natan is something so special. He's something so special. He's you can't even words can't describe. He's the epitome of what a real student is. You know, everybody can relate to a student. To a master, nobody can relate. Like it's very difficult. It's more difficult. You you're in awe of him. You're blinded sometimes by his light, and so powerful. You need to put on some sunglasses sometimes. But a student, somebody who comes down to you, somebody who speaks to you, somebody who can who can appreciate you, because he's been to the lowest points, and he knows what it's like trying, looking for the truth, and looking for the right teacher and everything. You know. It's such a such a such a tremendous thing to be able to um, be able to value the right people in life, to value the right advice. Today, I want to go over uh, actually a beautiful piece. Uh, so you know, Baruch Hashem in, in Judaism. So there's so many beautiful books. Like people have no clue. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, have no clue, especially in Breslov. But uh, in, in in general, there are just so many amazing books. There are many many amazing books in the world, but nothing. I'll be honest with you. It's it's the 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 words of Rabbi Natan, like uh, like my Rabbi Rav Nassim Maim said. Um, he's about about Rabbi Natan that that whenever Rabbi Natan was, 
he was six years old when he sorry when Rabbi Nathan was six years old um, he used to pray in a certain shul and he would pray um, with the older people a lot of very very older people uh, very old people you know 70 80 90 you know um, and, he, and one day uh, the person he used to play with an old man he wasn't there anymore and he started noticing that he's why isn't he coming so he asked his father and his father said you know he's going the way of all flesh you know, uh, he, we put after the flesh is done, after the body, the person here is done with their job here. They, we put the body in the ground, we dig a hole in the ground, we put the body in the ground. And Rabbi Natan knew, even by a very, very young age, he had powers of unbelievable powers. And he said, that's it? That's all a person has in this world? 70, 80, 90 years, whatever the situation is, 100, even 100 years? And that's it, you go back to the ground? That's all the physical benefit that you can get? That's the limit? So he knew right away, Tachlis, purpose, the purpose of this world is not physical. You might use physicality to obtain, meaning you use physicality as a means to obtain goals. You're, you're paying for things, holy things, doing mitzvot, doing kindnesses, helping people, doing with all the physical things in the world. But the physical things themselves, if you're running after all the physical things themselves, in them, in making an end of itself, and 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 just get lost in that? No, it has a it has an end date. It's not forever. Purpose doesn't last so long. So it must be the the things that are inside. that are spiritual, that are that are gonna lead us to the purpose. Gonna lead us to how we use the utilize the physical thing, this physical world, what we're doing here. So I'm gonna read something. We know Baruch Hashem. We send again. There's a beautiful sfarim. There's a um. So there's a we know a sefer tehillim. There's a Sefer Tehillim, which is Psalms, written by King David, and uh, and and, his, uh, and the people that accompany him to, to uh, actually, um, who actually wrote total, because there are many people also there. again like that, that there there are people that sorry there, there were some people that contributed as well, um, with David Melech to the Sefer of Tehillim, but David Melech in general wrote majority majority of all the Tehillim, all the Psalms, and um, and it's collect that's the collection of the 150 Tehillim that that. Uh, that Jews and people alike um, recite from King David, you know, that King David compiled, who's a sweet singer of Israel. And we have some commentary on uh, here from Rabbi Natan. So I want to go through one, one, one of my favorite commentaries that I uh, had. Sorry about that. Give me one second. On one of my favorite, the amazing Tehillim. Amazing, amazing Tehillim. Okay. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, okay, let me find it here for everybody. Oh, because this is a beautiful, beautiful lesson, and I definitely want people um, to be able to benefit. I'm sorry, buddy, but <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see here. I'm saying to keep you waiting. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just... Uh, Oh, what's going on here? Apologize. Okay. Just trying to look for it so that I can, can give you guys something sweet and nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being patient. Whoever is patient here. Okay. Beautiful. Um, so we have here, it says, one of the m most famous phrases in Ashrei, in the, the, the blessing of Ashrei, 
Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's do. Let's do. Maybe we could do a couple. But let's start with one. Um, one of the phrases that we say in Ashray, which is Tehillim 145, Kuf, uh, Kuf Mem Hey, we say, Ki Tov Hashem Lakol. In in generic in uh, in I have to understand we say translations of Hebrew but to be honest with you Hebrew is so deep that it has several translations and how you can rephrase it and 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 especially in languages you how you combine these things together actually are different ways of belief a live different aspects of faith that you can achieve from the letters and we're going to show you how because it says Tov Hashem Akol good is Hashem for everything or good is Hashem to everyone. Or good is Hashem that corresponds to everyone. We'll see. Ki kol atov shenimsa b'chol makom shehu that all the good that a person finds, whatever place he's in, will come in brach. Everything is from Hashem. Ki anukuda tova she adam motzeh b'atzmo because the good point that you find in yourself, any good that you find, any good kindness, any good deed, any good piece of wisdom that you have ever accomplished or shared with other people, zebchinan elokut. That's godliness, kibiyochol, so to speak. All good that you call good, anything you call good in your life that's really truly good, okay, that's from God. Because it says the Torah, the Torah, Am Yisrael, and Kuchabruchu, and blessed the Holy One, blessed is He, are all one. like the Zohar says. It comes out when a person finds in themselves a certain good point. It's completely bound in, in, in it's unified completely with God. And the, and the good point that I find within myself, all the good things that I find within myself. That I thought I made I'm making a video that I want to honor Rabbi Natan of Bresov, who you know, all those good, all those good things. Shahu that's the aspect of godliness, that good that I call good that within me, anything that I call good within me that I'm trying to express or trying to think or trying to speak or trying to do, that's connected to God, that is God, so to speak. That's the aspect of of good is Hashem to everyone. Good Hashem is the goodness that corresponds to everyone. That you find in yourself, that you see in the world, that's God. Zehu this is what supports me and this is what gets me up from my sleep is that I realize that all the good things that I have okay so if I think okay listen I'm good but I also have bad things no no no, no. wake up the things that are good in your life no matter what things are hard or not hard or bad or good whatever you think just remember one thing good whatever's good in your life that is God in your life that is literally God in your life. Because you call that good. You identify that good, that thing as good. right? You're able to show that that's the godliness that's in your life. That's the God being good to you. That's the mercy that He's showing you in your life. And when you can wake up from, from all the dark places, and you can see how amazing and how beautiful life really is. Not because life is beautiful itself. Not just because they're pretty colors. But also those pretty colors you call good, that's God. That's God expressing Himself, showing you the beauty, His beauty of His goodness and the world through you, within you. And that's God. And may you always, always, always see, like Rabbi Natan is always trying to show us, within the Torah, within Tehillim, within all your prayers, within all your thoughts, within all your goodwill, the things that you want to want even, that there's so many good, positive things about yourself. And you shouldn't, not you shouldn't, don't let those negative things, those things that you find that are difficult about yourself, about other people, get in the way of judging yourself and judging them favorably. Because Hashem is the good that you have, no matter how little or how lot or how, or how little or how much you have, that's God with you. That literally is God. The good that you have in your life is God. It's not Hashem is good to you. The good is God with you in your life. May you merit to see it, feel it, enjoy it. Share it. Have a great day. Have a great night, sorry. <laughs>